When you see someone wearing hijab or aniqab, what do you think about? I had trouble formulating my own opinion, so I wanted to sit down with someone who does wear hijab and ask her a few questions. Her name's Aula. There is another kind of niqab, wow. just like this. That's intense to me. You want to wear it? <laughs> I do, and it makes me nervous. I do. Can I put it around? Yeah? Sure. Just like this, right? Yeah, don't oh be my scared. God. I'm so, honestly, I'll be honest with you. It scares me a little bit. It makes me nervous. If you're Canadian here in the and winter, if, it should not make you nervous. And if I, yeah, that's fair. In For Canada, me, in the winter, everybody wears niqab. You just threw it. You just threw a curveball at Canadians. <laughs> Why do you wear a hijab? Okay, so a hijab is um, just a headscarf, but it's also part of a whole system in Islam that uh, ask the woman to cover not only the head and the scarf, but the whole beauty and the whole body of the woman, except the hands and the face. So what you're wearing right now mm -hmm. is a headscarf. Yes. And it's part of he your hijab. Yes. But the scarf itself, wearing a headdress, is not necessarily a hijab. Well, hijab in Arabic means cover. So your jean is a hijab. It's right. covering your legs. Right. Your shirt is a hijab. It's covering your body. Right. The scarf is a hijab because it's covering your hair or right. your, head your head. So a niqab uh -huh. is a part of hijab. Uh, a niqab could be part of the hijab. Could be part of the is hijab. a face cover, basically. If you want to translate it, you can say it's a face cover. Okay. And uh, when would someone, when does someone wear one or the other? Um, in certain countries, because uh, in Islam there is different opinions on different issues, and one of the op opinions is that uh, hijab must have a niqab with it. Right. So it's like a must, it's part of it because they consider the woman's face as part of the beauty that needs to be covered. Do you still then care about how the scarf looks and why? Well, because uh, th there is a difference between looking nice, looking decent, looking clean and looking sexy. So in Islam, we can look, you know, we can have nice clothes, we can have nice dress, clean, uh, with colors matching if we feel like it. So that's a choice that anybody can do. But then there is a difference about being sexy and showing all the parts of your body uh, in, a, in a different way. I would imagine some men would find hijab sexy. How do you deal with that? Well, here is a question to you as a man. If you're walking in the street and you have two women in front of you, one like showing all the best parts of her body with very little clothes on and with the hair done and everything, and another one who's totally covered, you tell me who you're going to look at. I'll tell you that I can't speak for all men, but I would imagine there are some men who would be attracted to wanting to find out about the woman who's covered more than just some girl who's showing it all off. Uh, maybe. Talk to me about wearing makeup then. Okay. Because I have seen many women who wear hijab who still concern themselves with putting on lots of makeup and their lipstick and they're still, they're still behaving uh -huh. as if that's that matters. There is a lot of pressure on all women in the world these days, whether Muslim or not, that this is what society expects of you as a woman. So um, I personally put some makeup, but I try to keep it very light. So I, again, it's not about the, it's about... Uh -huh. why, why do you wear makeup? <laughs> That's a good question. Again, it's the goal of hijab is not to stop a woman from being a woman. Of, of doing do what beauty. she likes. Doesn't it have to do with beauty when you put makeup on? About being more beautiful. But light makeup is not necessarily considered that. If you put like, you go out like a clown and you put so much, then again, it's, it's all about the excess of doing things. Is it hot? No. How is it not? It's not because I had the experience. <laughs> you get used to it. 
uh, first of all, so initially, and then afterwards, it's just you feel exactly as hot as anybody else next to you because you got used to it. So you it's used all to an er internal temperature. Yes. So it's all a matter of what you get used to. Do you always enjoy having to put on hijab? Oh yes. Oh yeah. I can't imagine myself going out without it. Uh, inside the house, outside the house. When do you have to wear it? It's not about inside the house or outside the house, it's about who is around you. So uh, you're supposed to be um, covering yourself with any man that, uh, theoretically speaking, you can get married to. So for example, your father, you can never marry your father. You can never marry your son. You can never marry your brother. So when I say never, means like never, never, never. Not never because right now this person is married. Are you allowed to be physically intimate while being covered up? It's actually an obligation for a woman in Islam to make herself beautiful and sexy as much as possible to her husband. So in front of your husband, you're not supposed to be wearing it? No, you're supposed to try to be as sexy as possible. So when you're at home, uh, will you take it off? If you know it's just you and your family, you'll yeah. take it off and go put yourself together? I have two wardrobes. I have a home wardrobe. Uh, that has all kind of different clothes, and I have the outside wardrobe. And the home wardrobe is, excuse me for using this word, can be sexy stuff, shop everywhere. Yes. You have a wardrobe at home that is all of the clothing that we see out there in the world. Yes, yes. If you're at home and you're not wearing mm -hmm. hijab, yes. and someone just comes in abruptly, yeah. who's not, is it a panic to get something on, or you just go put something on? If it's uh, like an accident kind of things, yeah, it's a big panic. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like if you're naked and somebody comes in, it, right. I, I would feel the same way. Really? You'd feel naked? Would a man yeah. need to apologize and it's a whole... Well, if accidents happen, it happens, right? right? It's not the end of the world, but it would feel like it's very a embarrassing. It's naked. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you understand why I think it's amazing? Oh, why? Being raised in a, in a culture that doesn't cover up. Yeah. I think it's remarkable that you'd feel naked without it on. Well, yes, it is. And I can relate to that because before I did not used to cover and it was not part of my culture. And so you weren't told you have to start practicing wearing hijab. You no. chose to. Uh, and actually, I chose to do it here in Canada because I was afraid to do it back home. Where was back home? I'm originally from Morocco from Morocco, they're not covering their heads, they're not well, practicing hijab. Right now, the new generation is learning more about their religion, so time has changed. So now if you go back there, you will see all the young, the young ladies are covering and their mothers are not. If a little girl was raised in your community and didn't want to wear hijab, she just didn't want to, Okay. Uh, would you have a problem with that? Well, that Islamically speaking, you can't force anybody to do something against their will. And in the Quran, it's very clear, clearly stated. Uh, but unfortunately, depending which culture you come from, because Islam is a religion practiced all over the world. There is Chinese Muslim, there is mm -hmm. Indian, there is Arabs, there is Canadians, Americans, British, South Americans. It's all over the world. And everyone bring their culture along with it. Mm -hmm. There are a handful of people out there when they see someone wearing hijab, they think that it's male oppression, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. men making you wear it. Um, there's a lot of negative sentiments about it. Uh, how do you address that? What would you say? Um, I totally understand these people because I've been there once. Uh, I would say it's more about ignorance. When you don't know something, it's very easy to judge it negatively. So I would like to invite anybody who feels that way to learn a little bit more about it. Um, not necessarily to be convinced, but at least to hear the other opinion. I think that's the best way to remove any kind of ignorance in the world is communication. Talk to a Muslim person, to a Muslim lady and ask her. Do you judge women who don't wear hijab? That's their life, their beliefs, the way they behave. I have opinions about everything in life, yeah, sure, but of course. is it my place to judge? No, right. that's the thing. I don't, I don't look down at any other woman or any other person of different religion or other person of different color because that's whatever it is, whoever is different than you, 
looking at them down is, is discrimination. Totally. And that's why we do this show. Yes. It's called Who We Are, and the question we ask is, who are you? Thank you, Ola, for joining us. I Thank really you. It. Thanks. We think these stories and conversations are really important to share. And so if you do too, we'd love for you to like the video, share the video, subscribe to our channel, and check out our other interviews, because it's who we are. Thanks for watching.